Hello people and welcome back to the first of what we'll turn over the next few days when I start uploading more a new run of videos and on this video um, as I now will power towards 200 fighters in my database this video we are covering former flyweight champion Pwn King Petch okay a fantastic little fighter down at the low weights didn't have a massive career, okay, Pong King Petch, but we will go through his career. 20 fights at a time and see how the former flyweight king does in his career. So in Pawn King Petch's first 20 pro fights, he goes 17 wins, 3 losses, no draws with 5 KOs. Now he fights a list of opponents here in his first 20 pro fights. He fights and beats former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Danny Kidd. He also fights and loses to former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Leo Espinosa um, before gaining the win over top 10 rated Hitoshi Misaka. He then beats top 10 rated Domi Ursua before also beating top 10 Masaji Iwamoto. So, Pwn King Petch fights a little list of fighters on this first slide. First 20 fights, okay, he doesn't waste time getting stuck in. His record against champions um, at the end of 20 fights for Pwn King Petch is no win, no loss, no draw. He's also not yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter in his career, so he's no win, no loss, no draw. And Pwn King Petch has now already had five fights against men who were top 10 rated and has a record of four wins with just the one loss to um, Leo Espinosa, okay, um, in those 20 fights against top 10 rated fighters now Pwn King Petch has also um, had two fights against top 3 rated fighters going one win and one loss and Pwn King Petch has yet to fight a ring champion so his record against ring champions is 0-0-0 so he's already fought top three rated fighters on there, beating Danny Cade, losing um, to Tough Leo Espinosa. He's fought some other top ten rated fighters. There's Pwn King Petch's first 20 pro fights. Now we will go on to his next fights and see how his career goes from here. And this is his last slide of fights. And as we can see, he ends up with 15 more fights, going 11 wins, 4 losses, no draws with four KOs. So Pwn King Petch, when I said he didn't have a big career, I really didn't mean it, okay? He only had 35 professional fights. He ends with a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, no draws with nine KOs. Now Pwn King Petch on this slide beats Manuel Armentiros, okay? Top 10 rated, gaining a win. And he then gains two great wins, okay? Beating former top 10, top three rated ring champion and Hall of Famer Pascal Perez, okay? The Argentinian terror and long reigning lineage champion. Um, he beats Pascal Perez in the first fight, does Pwn King Petch, and then repeats it, okay, beating Pascal Perez in a rematch, okay, so two wins over former ring champion um, Hall of Famer Perez there. He then fights Mitsunori Seki, former top 10 rated fighter, beating him, and then also beats former top 10 rated Kayo Noguchi. Now he then goes in with another great name, okay, a real great name down there. Fantastic little battle it was, um, fighting Harada, okay, former top 10 Top three rated ring champion and Hall of Fame. And now Pwn King Petch loses the first fight to fighting Harada, but he does then come back to go one win, one loss in his two fights against the excellent fighting Harada, who will be getting a video. He then goes in with another excellent fighter, okay, Hideyoki Ibihara, former top 10, top three rated ring champion. Ibihara, also another excellent fighter down there, beats Pwn King Petch in the first fight. But just like fighting Harada, Pwn King Petch comes back and beats Hideyuki Ibihara in the rematch. He then fights another good champion down there, okay, another good fighter down there, former top 10, top 3 raid ring champion Salvatore Burini. Before closing out his fights here with a loss to former top 10 rated fighter Baby Lonara. Lorona, sorry, got mixed up there, Lorna, Lorna, Lorona, really, really. Yeah, so he ends with seven fights against champions, four wins, three losses. He ends with four fights now against Hall of Famers, just the defeat to fight in Arada, who is also beat. And he ends on 16 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 11 and 5. Um, he almost hits double figures against top three rated fighters with a record of five wins and four loss. And he ends on seven fights against ring champions, four wins, three loss. So, Pwn King Petch had a short career, fought some fantastic fighters. Um, Ibihara, Harada, Pascal Perez, all more than once fought some other excellent fighters. Let's go on to the first of his stats. And as we can see, Pwn King Petch, in his 35 fight career, beat three individual world champions. Two of them real top-notch in Pascal Perez. Well, all three of them top-notch, Pascal Perez, Ibihara um, and Harada. He fought a combined 80 rounds in his career against world champions. And Pwn King Petch also beat two individual Hall of Famers. They are the aforementioned real great fighters down there fighting Arada and Pascal Perez. And combined in his career, he fought 
49 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, Pung King Pech in his 35 fight career had nine world title fights. He won six, lost three, drew nil, scored one KO in a title fight, and Pung King Pech made three title defences. And King Pech also ended on a combined 110 rounds in title fights in his career. Now, Pung King Pech does hold one unique distinction, okay? A very good distinction um, and achievement in title legacy when we look at his title stats, uh, title accomplishments. But in fights against rated fighters, champs, or Hall of Famers, Pung King Pech, in a short career of 35 fights, ends on 16 fights against men who were either top 10 rated, a world champion, or are now enshrined in the Hall of Fame. And from those 16 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, Pung King Pech ends with 11 wins from his 35 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. So fighting Hiroyuki Ibihara, fighting Arada, Pascal Perez, Leo Espinosa, um, Danny Kidd, many other fighters. He had a short career, but a fantastic little career. Um, had some great battles in there um, and accomplished a number of things. So there is his basic career and basic stat slide. Let us go on to Pong King Pech um, and look at his KO stats. Now, Pong King Pech um, was not a murderous puncher. He scored. Nine KOs in his career. Now, from those nine KOs or stoppages in his career, Pung King Pech scored two of those inside three rounds. He scored zero KOs in the first round. And when we look at the large start at the bottom, he scored one KO against a world champion, one KO against a Hall of Famer, and one KO in a title fight. So Pung King Pech, great little battler down there, but not a great massive puncher. Okay, not a great massive puncher. But in 35 fights, he really did have a tough little career. Um, especially for many flyweights. So let us go on to Pong King Pech's title fight accomplishments, see how they look. So Pong King Pech was a one-weight world champion and a one-weight lineal champion. Now Pong King Pech was not only a three-time world champion, he was also a three-time lineal flyweight champion. Okay, he's one of those rare fighters in boxing that has won a lineal title three times um, in one weight class. Now, as well as being a three-time world champion, Pong King Pech, as well as being a three-time lineal flyweight champion, he was also a full two-time undisputed flyweight champion of the world. And the belts that Pong King Pech won, um, Pong King Pech held the world flyweight title, he held the WBA flyweight title, and he also captured the WBC flyweight title and held for a second time the WBA flyweight title. So Pong King Pech, okay, a one-weight champion, a three-time lineal champion, a two-time undisputed champion, um, captured four belts, including the full world flyweight title, then held unified belts, WBC, WBA flyweight titles, also captured WBA flyweight title. A fantastic little career. This is the first video. Over next week, many, many more will be coming. There's Pong King Pech. I am out for now.